Hello friends, we are in the island of Trinidad, which is part of Trinidad and Tobago, the country. But we're just focusing on Trinidad today, in a place called Cuba, which is central Trinidad. West central Trinidad, that is. And that's the main roads of Cuba. We're going to be walking in Cuba proper, meaning the commercial side of Cuba. The main roads where most people are familiar with with Cuba. I will pass through some of the residential areas, but not much in this video. I do have a road trip video where I drive around more in Cuba. However, today it's just the main roads walking. That way will give you a better idea and you'll be able to slowly see everything. Now, if you are from Cuba and haven't been here for a long time this will be a treat for you because you will now see what Cuba is like today I'll go as far as Cali Bay Road to the west and the Cuba main road to the east and this is Cuba we're looking east that's the Cuba main road and now we're looking west that's the southern main road so the southern main road comes from the north and it turns going west we are going up the southern main road and we're heading north now by heading north i'm actually going to the less busier side of cuba however there are a couple of significant buildings that cannot be missed in covering cuba the cuba area is a big political area for a local political party called the UNC which means the United National Congress it would be a bit odd of me to you know go up and down the commercial side of Hoover and not cover places like Rienzi complex so we're walking towards it in doing so you can have a look at the area see what new shops that you haven't seen before buildings and so forth now I have been in the Hoover area for probably around 30 years and when I say I've been in the area, I haven't lived in the area but I used to work at the National Gas Company, NGC and then working there in my young days I would be driving up and down these streets for me, there has been a lot of progress in Kuva as far as structure has go a lot more buildings and so forth when I was here 30 years ago, most of this was green. There weren't so many buildings. Maybe a house or two here and there. There was a lot of keen fields and a lot of green. Since that time it has been built up a lot as you can see. Now according to old British maps, there used to be a, a big river that passed through Cuba possibly called the Kuva River no one knows exactly where that is now Kuva is actually one of the fastest growing places in Trinidad and Tobago that might be largely due to its close proximity to the highways gas and oil production and it used to be a sugarcane production community. We used to have a lot of sugarcane fields here. Uh, but they're no longer around. They were disbanded or removed by government. That's the new UNC headquarters, the same political party that I was talking about. We're going to a building called Rienzi Complex, which was their former headquarters but it's now taken over to by um, I think a trade union the first trade union, I can't remember we get, we get the receipt if you hear that strange song in the background I think there's either parrots or puppies I'm not sure these wheels are kind of strange maybe puppies The part that we are passing here is kind of like a, a residential area. And I say kind of because sometimes a residence 
especially in a place like Trinidad has dual purpose sometimes people will be living above and below is a business or it could be that yes there may be residential places houses people's homes and then right next to it is a business this is a good example that's a tattoo place in a place where they sell cars or fix cars and so forth and that's kind of how it is in the Caribbean huh? the planning community planning is a bit erratic if I want of a better word or randomized you, know, you might see one structure and the other structure look next it looks totally different there isn't a uniformity I think is the best way to use to how things are built here so everybody has a different look feel I can look so completely different to the place next door or opposite the pet store on the left Um, you know, as things get built up, the sad thing is they don't leave any green. No trees, no shrubs, no flowers. You know, it's, it's just like they can only think about concrete. And did you see that big hole? Wow. Somebody could die. And if they slipped, and you might laugh, but it's really no laughing matter. Because if you slip on your head or your neck, hit the concrete in an awkward position you can break your neck and that could kill you that's the uh, other thing that needs to be done infrastructure wise in Trinidad is taking care of all the sidewalks, pavements the British call pavements the North Americans sidewalks people use those words interchangeably here some will say pavement, some will say sidewalk but really sometimes it could be just an arcade game where you have to watch out for holes, watch out for uneven spaces or things that could trip you. And that's all over the country, you know? that's not unique to Cuba. Now how about this? And last have you seen a mango tree with so many mangoes all over, it's just falling and rotting. If that was close to Port of Spain, somebody would have raided it already. But it's seemingly left untouched here in Kuva. It's a big residential area in the background. And we're continuing north. This is the southern main road by the way. And we're going towards what really, what really is an iconic place for the area called Rienzi Complex. And, and the reason I'm taking this path, because I know for those of you who are not familiar with Kuva, you might just say, well, what's the big deal? Well, I'm sure if I made this video and I just stuck with Kuva proper and all the commercial buildings, people would have said, but you didn't cover Renzi Complex. So to avoid that, I'm making sure to do that first. Whether you're a UNC supporter or hater, you like it, you don't like it, doesn't matter. It still remains as an iconic place to the area and well known in Trinidad and Tobago. You just pass a piece of that sidewalk pavement there with big wooden plants covering a hole. And while that might cover the hole, you could actually trip on those things. I can't imagine somebody that's blind walking here at all. Or even having to use a wheelchair. And that's the building coming up on the left there, the red one. Not this grey one, that's a Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall. And this one, this is the All Trinidad General Workers Trade Union building. It used to be all yellow and the UNC headquarters. I'm not sure if the UNC 
probably has some arrangement to use it for meetings or whatever big conferences, but it has been changed. Here you go. You want to and and that guy Camera. who's working there, he's talking to me. It's very common for trainees to always have comments to give you when you're passing by, especially if you're doing something they're not sure about. They mean well, huh? So if you hear somebody thinking, don't think they are angry at you. Most of the time, trainees just like engaging people. Not all, but some. So this is what used to be the UNC headquarters or Rienzi complex. Those are some police bikers. Just picking them up for you so you can see what our police patrols look like if I was to continue on this road going north I'd see more of the same this is at some green grounds here looks like it can use a cut and we're gonna head back down to Kuva Papa and I'm not gonna go at the same speed because we've already been here so let's speed it up That's the nice thing about when you have a video, you kind of move past everything that you don't want to get over again. <coughs> On the right is a residential area. Anyway, sometimes you know this uh, this video will be uh, you know way beyond an hour, like an hour and a half or something like that. So if I pause or suddenly go silent, you know why. Now this video does have natural sound, so you'll hear it in the distance, in the background, I should say. That's the G GTA supermarket compound where you see that Pizza Hut and these other places. Back in my day, it was just the supermarket and sort of like a warehouse to sell books. I don't know how many of you remember that. You used to sell a lot of books in there. Um, but now, there's a lot of fast food places in it. Um, you'll see it nearer the end of this walkthrough when I pass on this side. For now, I'm going to be turning right so that you can see Cooper proper and a lot of the commercial buildings. You see that old wooden structure in left where it's supposed to be an ice cream place? That that has been there forever this place and while its business usage might have changed the actual structure has remained like that well ever since I was here 30 years ago it's kind of surprising to still see it like that this is the southern main road this road takes you all the way to San Fernando see that metal on the ground that's not good for somebody that's blind or has a wheelchair but again there isn't a standard for infrastructure in general i'm sure there is on people but the implementation no there really needs to be an improvement with infrastructure and something that is common you can see on the left there is all the electricity poles and the enormous amount of wires In the old days, you would just see a few lines and it didn't, really, it didn't really make a difference, it wasn't so noticeable. But now, there are hundreds of different lines on each pole and you really cannot get them out of your vision. They're just there and they're blocking, especially when you 
you know, like me, have a, a camera, you already notice how much of those wires and poles there are. This is one of the iconic churches. of it with a bell. That building on the left there on the center screen is another church here. That has been there for 30 years or so too. It's a more modern building called the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or people may know them as Mormons. This road I believe it's one way, but takes you some, to some other iconic buildings or structures in the area. It's cool as well. Of course I could spend time going walking each of these streets. You know, I would take an immense amount of time and this video might be 10 hours. So I'm just gonna cover the main streets, the main places. So this is um, Exchange Presbyterian School. If you've gone here, attended here at one time, feel free to tell us in the comments area of what your time was like here at the school. Did you enjoy it? Did you have good teachers? Tell us in the comments area. Now, this little section here and that house has also been here forever, as you can tell. This is the worst I've ever seen the house to. And when I say worst, the fact that they are allowing trees to grow and take over the house. It used to be that they would have at least maintained it and even have some usage for it 30 years ago, but apparently not. However, the reason I like this house is it maintains that Caribbean colonial look. That's how a lot of our buildings were many years ago. Look just like that. It's too bad that it's being taken over by green and grass. And and this is, you know, if this was the UK, in England or Wales or wherever, they would have done a lot to protect that and make it a historical landmark. But in Trinidad, there isn't that fervor, that zeal for those things. A lot of our historical sites are often neglected. And I'm sure nobody would even see that old wooden structure as a historical site. They would just let it perish. Which for me is sad because I just love seeing those kinds of things. And it, you know, if, if somebody would preserve it, put historical items in it, make it like a little museum, it becomes a tourist attraction. And a learning place for people, the school children, right opposite, could make use of it. There's a structure similar to it all the way in the background that does seem to be in use, but doesn't have that nice detail like the one that I'm talking about does. And of course, you know, we must have our trash disposal. Something I've spoken about many times in many videos is just trash everywhere. The drains too are clogged, not maintained. You see like this grass growing here. That would prevent water from flowing easily. And if there was trash, that good grass would 
we capture the trash and then cause the drains to get clogged. Now locally there is a program called the um, Unemployed Relief Program. Oh, and they're supposed to come around and do things like this, but obviously it's not as active in this area. Street maintenance should be a good way of providing employment. So much opportunities for people to do stuff here. Young people could get themselves occupied in them until they get better jobs or whatever. So there are a lot of impromptu buildings, for instance that's a county health office and another public building there but they are obviously renting that building. Bike shop, last shop. I am panning both left and right. And by the way, normally when I create these walkthroughs, or at least in the past, I've used a lower resolution. This time, from here on out, I'm just using the best resolution possible. I used to use my extension rod, which gave me slightly better angles, but not this time. But in panning left to right, you can get a better idea of what's around. If there are a lot of people in a shop, or hang out outside I tend not to show them so I actually try to avoid people as much as possible you know people walk into my viewer then I there's nothing I could do about that but say I'm gonna focus on people I don't do that That's a bank. Scotia Bank, that's pretty popular, but you should know. That building is called Rattan. They sell cheap clothing. They have branches everywhere. I have my own opinions on that place. Sometimes you may get a good deal, and other times you might get the worst of deals. It's kind of rolling with dice there. I don't know how you feel about it. Something that people do here a lot, which for me is incorrect, is with their signage, they put too much information. See how that guy has doctor's office clear? That makes a lot of sense. You can actually see that and know what it's about. But here they try to stick so much information in a small sign, you don't really even know what the building is about. This particular junction is also very busy. Again, look at our sidewalks. See? Like traps. This particular intersection is always very busy. A lot of banks here, a lot of businesses. And the busier parts of Cuba. And I'm going to pan around here a bit too. So that you can have a look. Some of these buildings are bigger, taller, newer than what was here before. So that would be new for you. It's also somewhat new for me as well. Although I have been here before the creation of this video in recent times.
Now, despite its enormous size, Hoover that is, uh, the shopping is not as diverse and grand as let's say Chogonas or San Fernando or Port of Spain. I guess because of the size everything just passed out so much that you know from one place you would have to do a lot of walking to get to the next place because it's all centered around this main road rather than you know within the matter of blocks so it makes shopping a bit difficult. So it's not a place I, I personally would normally come and shop. But if you do, you can let me know in the comments. It was interesting in this park how many pigeons there were. And the fact that they didn't want to move. I guess they're so comfortable with people around. In Shan Ali Promenade. This is another place that has been developed a bit. It's unfortunate that I'm capturing it for you and it looks like it could do some with some maintenance. But that's just how it is in JB's Man Cave. I don't wait for everything to be perfect. And you know, JB's Man Cave is all about keeping it real. You know, the idea here is for you to feel as though you were here with me, right here in Kuva. So you can see what it's like. Well, this I guess is supposed to be a manger that they kept from Christmas and I guess decided, you know, let's just keep it up for next Christmas. So just from looking you can see the maintenance that needs to be done, the walkway, cutting the grass, pruning the shrubs and so forth. A lot of vagrants and stuff as well, sleeping around. It's a sad part of neglecting society. You see these very big tall bombs? It's something very unique to Cuba. I don't see as many as there should right now, but um, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, there's a lot of these palms growing in Cuba. Especially around the sugarcane fields. This building is also another old building. I I want to believe it was a train station. It has that general look. However, I'm not sure. And so to correct me, feel free to comment on it. Again, this is another place that could be used as a historical site. Um, if it was maintained. It's a pan yard. Now, one of the interesting things ab that I about Kuva and especially what I mentioned before about how things are so sparsed out in this little block here, they try to put a as much um, government-based buildings as they could. For instance, this is the police, which is kind of obvious and looks like a police building that hasn't been finished. And then on the other side is the regional corporation. And there are also some other government buildings right there within the space, so you kind of get everything that you need in one go, rather than having to jump on. Now they said this is um, a play park, but I was trying to figure out what is the play park, because to me it's just places to sit down in a small grassy area. Very strange.
That building in the distance there with the red roof. That is the Coover Library. Corporation I was talking about. I'm gonna go back to the promenade, back to where we came. In case you're wondering, I'm, I'm holding the camera in my hand, so sometimes it's chest level, sometimes I might hold it above my head. It all depends on my energy of the time and me, but generally it's below my head. So I'm kind of like holding it in my hand with my hands close to my chest, if that makes sense. That's the community pool by the way. Some of these trees have been here forever, it seems like, and I really hope they do not take it down. See how this green area just automatically uplifts and beautifies the area? Green just does that, rather than, you know, chopping down everything and putting up a, a concrete structure. Of course, they can always do better with trash. Trash collection is a very strange phenomena in this country just I don't know they don't collect it on time or is it that people are putting it in the right place I don't know but it should be done more often and way more often Gonna bend, I've gonna bend it around here a bit and take in a, a little bit of whatever is written on that plaque. Oh, so it was opened by Basdeo Pandey. I guess at the time he was the Prime Minister, I'm not sure, or MP. Basio Pane was the one who founded the or co-founded the UNC the political party and is well known in this area Cuba he used to be the uh, prime minister at one time as well somewhat of a controversial figure He's a lawyer, I believe, and had lots of, sh lots of things to say. Never let anything hide away in his mind. I had to mute that part there because the guy coming out of the vehicle was cruising. That's the police, uh, poli another police station. This is the one on the main road, and if you notice, it's using partially that colonial, old colonial look, mixed in with some additional add-ons. This is the TN Tech uh, company, Senior Electricity, Trinidad Tobago Electricity Commission. We have to capture them there. When lights go, they are the ones coming out to fix it. This little section here is another developed section. It has the businesses just off of the road. This church here is also another iconic place, St. Paul's Roman Catholic Church.
and you can see the very old structure there maybe that is the priest's quarters i don't know but you could see that old colonial look probably still has the same galvanized that was there forever could use some maintenance it's a bank Republic Bank, it's uh, one of our local banks, well known. They also have a grocery, uh, other stores, some of them are closed. When the pandemic hit, a lot of stores closed and, and things are only now starting to sort of open back. That's a school in the background. A lot of these areas change gradually over time um, but not in such a big way that you and you know, if you've been here if you last time you said let's say it's 10 years everything I guess more or less seems the same 20 years you might say more uh, a few changes here and there 30 years you might say well okay that's a significant build up and probably 40 or 50 years they'll say wow we don't recognize anything so progress is a bit slow but nevertheless happens on the right is another school we're gonna cross quickly just to take it in holy faith convent and by convent, not necessarily that it's just nuns there, but the nuns run the school. So they probably also have their quarters and premises. Of course, this is up to debate, but um, it's the general thinking that some of the best schools in Trinidad are usually run by the Catholics. They tend to be the more well-known schools, schools that they try to get their children in. That's not to see other denominations don't have uh, good schools as well, like Lakshmi Girls, which I believe is a Hindu faith-based school. And then have others for so the Muslims and others that are Presbyterian or Methodist or Anglican or whatever have you. But I'm just saying that in general, most people try to get their children into a Catholic-based school. So continuing down the southern main road, I'm going to cross back so it's a bit better and all of everything. This is looking east and this is looking west. You guys having vehicular trouble. Engine cannot start. Now, in walking this way, the further west we go, the more quiet it gets, and that there isn't as much commerce. Again, because all the commerce is spread out on a long road rather than bunched together like other places, um, the business is pretty sparse out. And you can see by this sidewalk here, it's not maintained. A bird. It's really lovely birds. I don't know if you can pick that up. If you're watching this on a you know a, a big screen TV, you'll be able to pick up a lot more details than if you're looking at this on your phone. So even if you're looking at this on your phone, try it out also when you go home. Or even if you're home, you know, by watching it on your TV. If you have a smart television, you can pick it up. And um, just check out how big 
and to deal with this it's really good you're able to see things that you just can't see on a phone a phone is so small and I actually generally do not like using phones for that same reason So let's cover some other things about the people of Puva. They are some of the friendliest, nicest people you can meet. Um, similar to most southern folk, and I have said this before in my other videos, uh, the people in the south are very different to the people in the north. Yes, they are similar, you know, all Trinities are more or less similar. However, the temperament of the people in the south just more friendly, more welcoming, more um, humble than people in the north, in my opinion. People in the north are a bit more rough, more gruff, more... You know, not as... I don't want to say friendly, but not as welcoming. I find people in the south, central, more open-hearted. More smile, you know, more friendly, smile if you want to go. I just, I don't know. I, I think that's just their temperament and that's one of the reasons that I like to come to the south and central and so Kuva is no different how the people in Kuva are I'm going to circle and come out of that road that building in the distance there that is I think Kuva south secondary Although I came in here, um, I ended up passing this road two or three times trying to make different loops. But we're gonna check it out now. See that little white structure and that building? That usually means the person is a Hindu. That's like the worship area, the shrine. They're doing construction on the right, making a building. And sometimes when I pass with um, my camera, people, you know, kind of stop and stay and want to know what's going on. I don't know if they're in trouble. Some people think I look like the police with my blue outfit. I don't really see it that way, but you know. I guess if for some people they're doing something kind of shady, they might. That's the first thing that will come into their mind. Because the way my camera looks, it looks like if it's um, some kind of unit that you would use for either picking up information or speeding or whatever. It just has that look. It doesn't look like the typical camera. So this is the school and if you attended here do let us know in the comments area how it was you know did you enjoy it did you have good teachers was everything as it should be as far as infrastructure i mean looking at it but it is kuva west secondary looking at it I mean, the grounds and everything, the parking, the, the trees, the outer structure looks good. Looks like a nice building, but you know, I have never been in there, so I can't say how the classrooms are. But to me, most of our schools should be as big and should be as laid out like this, in my opinion. Because sometimes I go to a lot of schools and it's like, wow, you can't even believe it's a school. But you know, this is one of our, the newer schools, so when I say newer, as compared to a lot of old structures that still serve as schools in Trinidad, so you know, they, I guess they had the, the better option for more modern design and facilities. I also like the, the fact that they kept green and a lot of it too. And the green sort of gives the school privacy and mitigates against in my opinion distractions so here they're studying outside 
you know, we have to deal with outside um, destruction. So we're gonna go back again to this road. And I end up making a loop on this road. Coming up from where the camera is pointing. By the way, are you from Kuva? Once lived in Kuva. A family, friends in Kuva. Tell me what you think. How does Kuva look to you now? By the way, it's so funny when people say, I don't want to be on camera, but then they look straight at the camera. <laughs> you know, if you don't want to be on camera, just turn your head, I guess. Look at this wall, it's really, really high. You can see by how that guy is next to it. It's like twice his height and more. Restaurant on the left, the I was lucky to have this semi clear, partly cloudy day. There is a lot of Saharan dust in the air, um, but not as much as it has been. And because we are currently in the rainy season, anytime there's a day with a bit of sun, I try to get out there and record because most of the time the rest of these will just be very cloudy or raining too. Now this is the, another iconic building in, Ka in Cuba. This is called Chief's Confectionery. This is a factory where they make all the candies that you may have known as a child. And I used to come here often when I worked at NGC to deliver stuff for them. And I never forgot the one of the ladies that used to collect documents from me. They would um, always give me some free candy to take. Again, hospitality of Cuba. So this is Church of the Nazarene. And we're going to see another um, iconic church later it's a tire shop and a lot of noise and on the left there I think there's a funeral so I'm gonna kinda pan away from it I don't want to be picking up people in there. Yeah, um, whatever they did in it. Yes, and it, even though it's a summer moment, you did hear the laugh of somebody. That's a small supermarket on the left. A lot of these shops tend to be selling meats, auto parts, this one is a bar. And they each have a different look, different design. But as like I said with the signs, they try to put in so much information that you could hardly actually know what it is. And if you're driving past you you really don't know what it is unless you slow down, take time to read. Could do a bit better in a lot of sign signage here.
that's a nice thing you brought they, they clearly mark out what the place is By the way, we are heading west right now. Still in Cuba. Check the chair that's blocking that hole in the pavement. Sidewalk. I'm not really gonna stop somebody that has a, a grind or is um, in a wheelchair. They, you know, that's not gonna be any help by putting that chair there. But it's, I guess, acting as a marker to say, you know what, whomever is in charge of this, fix it. It's a pet shop that's why right behind so many birds. In my opinion, all the birds should be like these birds here, just free. Romans they want, flyers they want, not in a cage. And can you see those palms in the background? You're kind of the center right of your screen. That's where the church is. And it's also kind of a marking of the estate there just before we make a lot of industrial activity. No, I don't know how you feel, in my, but in my opinion, a lot of places in Trinidad have that kind of drab look. And it's only if one proprietor really maintains his building well, it's not that way. You know, the weeds, no paint. It's sort of like a rundown look. I don't know if you know what I mean. I think we could do a lot of improvement in that as a society and that's, this is not unique to Cuba. This is just all over Trinidad. So that run down whatever look, you know, no paint, no weeds growing, things falling apart. Isn't that interesting that things really look good? And I believe a lot of that is because the infrastructure itself is not good. You know, the same pavement, sidewalk, and walking. Here's a good example of a proprietor keeping his place pretty good. And I guess they sell to a restaurant. But I like I like the design of how they keep the place. They use that old colloquial look mixed in with I want to see an American North American Western look I'm just talking about the building eh? not the key not an, I'm not an teacher this is a plant shop showing a wide variety of the plants we have here It's 
see how the palms are kind of acting as that marker as to where the church is. One thing we have a lot in Trinidad is pet shops. They're almost as common as groceries. Sidewalks with no uniformity, a whole piece of wood, water, trash everywhere. Anyway, we have reached this iconic church. This church acts like a good marker of. I think separating or is it orange village? I can't remember. The signage is coming in just now. Yeah, orange village Caribou with Kuva. Well, I'll explain it. You see we just came from the east and straight ahead that would take us to south, San Fernando. So the southern main road. Continues. Other road, I think, is Kali Bay Road. This church has always looked the same. The grounds, everything. It's like, it's almost like it's frozen in time. The way it looks now is the way it looked. It looked 30 years ago. That's Kali Bay Road and that's the seven room. That's the seven room over there. It's the seven room right? coming from east and this is going down south and this is going west. I do have the drive through version of this video. I'm driving and I do go down that road and other roads you know it's impossible for me to keep doing this walking so in driving I can pick up more streets pick up some of the residential areas make sure and look for that in the search area for my channel the way YouTube has it there are two search areas one is to search YouTube in general and the other is just search my channel so if you want to just search my channel for that video, make sure to search within the search for my channel. Is it below the main search? Now, in coming all the way down here, this is like sort of the southern border of Cuba. And all here used to be green. My time in the area. They used to still have the residential places, but not so built up. You see that really big building of the construction on the left? Not sure what that is. If you know tell me in the comments area. Now that's an example of progress. Now if I was to follow this road it would take me to a roundabout. And that roundabout would act sort of a dividing line. Because after the roundabout if I continue it would take me to an area called California. That's right, like the state of California in the states. So it would take me to California, or if I turn right, it would take me to a place called Point Lisas, where there's a lot of plants, gas, 
ammonia, methanol plants and so forth. We're not going down there. So I'm turning around here. My interest is to just show you some of the more popular parts of Cuba. I'm not sure what food that is. If you know, let me know in the comments area. Look at that bird on the branch of the tree. I don't know if you could, could, you could see it. He's watching me, I'm watching him, and he's going to take off eventually. There he goes. By turning in here, I'm actually going into the residential side of Kuva. And although I say residential, just like you see that barber shop there, there are a lot of commercial buildings. People tend to, you know, make their property dual purpose, partially residence, partially commercial. So it's not uncommon to see that. So if you're walking through, as I'm walking through here, you can see you know, does this place look developed? Is it the same as it was, it has always been? What do you think? It's another mango tree. Trinidad, you can never go hungry. There's always a fruit tree somewhere. Some of these big warehouses and bigger structures, I did not see them here 30 years ago. Some of the flat houses, yes. And even so, they weren't so jam packed. They were almost passed out. But I think in the easier to expand the houses, end up making the houses look like apartments all together. Coming up on the left here, you're going to see uh, again another reason why people can't go hungry here. Look at this. You know what that is? If you know what that is, put it in the comments area. So you can eat. Look how they're just growing there, just so that I could actually walk past and pick it. Now, although they make all these different areas, these, this is all Kuva still. That building on the left, I believe, is a privately owned building.
Very interesting how this place is. What they decided to do the front there, I guess. I'm not too sure if it was the idea was to stop people from parking by mounting all those good, uh, concrete blocks, stones, and whatnot there. What do you think? I like the hibiscus. Another plant that you don't see very often. And of course trash. Seemingly we can, can just cannot escape that torment. a man there in the place of worship it's closed so I'm just giving you a feel for it If we were to follow this road, it would take us back up to the school that we visited early. Well, West Secondary. Check out the um, way that, that person did the landscaping. I like it. This is what I'm talking about as far as maintenance. Now look. No, 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 sorry, you have to have that same pattern, but, you know, if you could just maintain our green, maintain your area, you know, really make the place look good, make people feel more welcome, make people feel like they want to beautify the place, treat it better, so forth. Something I would like to see. Another government building on the right. Nice to see all these trees tall and maintain. I hope they're never taken away. Some sort of Ministry of Education place here. And I believe somewhere along here I'm going to speed it up a bit because this is a place that I said that took me back to where I was. Um, than before. I'm going to speed it up at some point. Because this is more or less a residential road, although there are some commercial aspects to it. It's not as traversed as you can see because hardly anybody is around. It's not on the main road. And school is not in session. This video was taken in July. School's already closed, so when there's something to 
to show that's not um, within a public activity like school or people are out and about then really there's nothing happening and that's that's the school on the same school so we're gonna speed it up The same road I said we would come and they would be in construction. And this puts us back on the southern main road. proceeding east we're going to go back up to where GTA supermarket is and have a look around up there but also get give you an angle of how Kuva is going from this way this direction because we came along here already but facing the other way to get a good angle of a place you have to go both ways not just one way Across the street and take it in from a different angle. In a little while, we will pass Holy Faith Convent on the left. This area too is actually one of the greenest areas that you'll see in Cuba. Green as in these big trees. But yeah, maintenance again, lots of bush, and even pavement, sidewalk. You know. Again, it makes you wonder where is where is everybody that's supposed to take care of these things. And like I always say, you know, maintenance should be something all the time, not just on some special occasion because, you know, something's going to happen. I'm trying to give you a shot of um, Holy Faith Convent, but it's all locked up. from a better angle did you go to the school feel free to comment in the comments area let us know how it was did you have good teachers did you like attending there and so forth now somewhere along here the after all the in our hot sun the, the camera kind of died and i had the battery cool off just after i passed this gentleman and that's why it kind of goes to black quickly and then you'll see me we start again, right here. Talking okay. to my son, who's with me, my sidekick. He always goes where I go. Likes to go on these long walks. That's good, good health too. Huh? Good for your mental and physical health. Walk.
this I like the aspect of how they did this little part here it's kind of a side road next to the main road and what it does is it allows the businesses here to provide parking for the customers and clients so you know they're not blocking the main road it would be nice if a lot more stores could do this rather than you know blocking the, the pavement sidewalk blocking areas or when a customer comes they block or they park on this, the sidewalk or pavement and it seems like the police is also using it for their own purposes to wreck vehicles why the lima that's something i haven't seen in a while that that's a pawn shop they like the pawn the um, merchandise or gold chain or whatever that's a police station That's the park on the right, that we, the promenade that we just came from. And when I turn here, on the left, that will be the Kuba Market. And I'm actually going to go in the market because it's not my purpose to be recording people. But I will give you the gist of it. This particular structure is well, new, when I say new, it wasn't here years ago when I used to be up and down in Cuba, they didn't have this structure. It's nice and airy and uh, provides a place for vendors to sell their produce, among other things. Right next to on the left which is a residential area grassy market I just visited it so continue recording right here we're gonna go back on to the southern main road we're gonna turn left and go up to GT so have you been able to Walk with me in this walk. Have you stayed for the whole video? Did you jump around in parts? Are you even actually able to walk this distance and for so long in the Caribbean sun? Tell me about it in the comments area. Is that something you could do? That's the promenade that we visited earlier. So we're proceeding on the southern main road heading east. We're going, to, we're going to go back to the JT supermarket outlet uh, of vicinity. That is actually on the corner of the Southern Main Road and the Cuba Main Road. Again, like I've said in other videos, look at this guy. He could have waited for me to pass apparently he doesn't know pedestrians office he just cut across so as you know jb's man cave we i like to promote the wall giving you this footage as though you were there with me so if you found it was a bit tedious that is what walking this long distance and for such a long time may feel like. 
you just have to add the element of the sun and maybe thirst to the whole picture right oh but the whole idea here is that if you grew up in Hoover or familiar with Hoover wanted to know more about Hoover all these little intricate details and walking this slow would actually appeal to you that's mainly who I'm targeting because you know if, if this was a promotional video I was just talking about Hoover you know I wouldn't take this long within five minutes I could make a promotional video on Hoover just highlighting specific areas but in this video I want to capture everything about Kuva. Kuva Papa that is. And in so doing, you'll be able to get a better idea. And this, you know, this video also acts as a historical value because, you know, in 10 years from now, 20 years from now, people will be looking at this and saying, oh, so that's what Kuva looked like back then. Oh, I remember this place back then. This is something else I don't understand what people in the business place. They make a place for cars to park, but it's clearly that the car cannot park there. The room is too short, and so the car ends up blocking the pavement, walkway, sidewalk. And as you saw, we have to go on the road. Look at that. We spin there. Or even these walls. Why is the wall sticking all the way out into the pavement area? All of these things are infrastructure, planning, municipal details that should be addressed at some point, taken care of. You know, the road, for instance, should be higher than the sidewalk pavement, as you see here. The pavement sidewalk should always be higher for multiple reasons. It's the element of Trinidad I would just like to see taken care of so that people can feel better about where they live. And, or even look at this, the, there is no pavement sidewalk there. So I would have to actually go to the other side of the road. But in the interest of just maintaining this walk and keeping on this side. Members of a bakery that I believe started in Marval and grew and grew until it got bigger and bigger. And you now they have branches all over the country. It's one of the more expensive bakeries. You know, if, if a bread is, let's say, 14 or 15 dollars in the grocery, members will have this for 18 or 20. So that'll give you an idea of the price. I am not much of a bread eater by the way. I think flour slows you down a lot, so I try to stay away from it. See rather than having an exposed drain here, this should be a walkway. Especially with the growth of plantains. In case you don't know, I have other videos of different areas that are more popular in Trinidad. Make sure to look for them. For instance, I have a video on Port of Spain, downtown. Then I have another one on Port of Spain, uptown. Then I may have one on Port of Spain driving through all the different streets. 
I have a video on San Fernando, Marima, Hoover, is this one. And then I have, you know, drive through videos in all the other places in Trinidad. You can all check them out, you can check them all out in my YouTube channel. Or if you're not sure how to find it or can't find it, just ask in the comments section. Or send me an email. You can go to jbmancave.com to find my uh, a contact form. There's a contact button there. And you can use that form to contact me. On the YouTube section on the about page has the um, way to check my email. However, if you do not, make sure the details about what it is you're asking me for. Because some people write, but they're so vague in what they're saying. I really don't know what it is they want, or what they're addressing, or what they're saying. That's the southern main road continuing there north, but we are heading east. That's Super Farm, it's a pharmacy slash 7-Eleven sort of outfit. While they do sell drugs and you know, medicine and whatnot, they also sell food, drinks, sandwiches. It's like a mix of things. Those townhouses on the right have also been there forever. And this compound has been here forever. But they didn't have all those fast food places. There the, the, used to be more of a car park at that time. And JT supermarket has been there forever. This road here, this is the Coover Main Road. This road will take you all the way to the highway. And across the highway into Grand Coover. Which I also have another video for. You can check that on my um, YouTube channel. Coming up on this side, we're not going to explore it too much, but just go up a bit so that you can see what's in the area. A lot of this area here used to be just bush, green, nothing built up. So this part here has, over the recent decades, been built up a bit. I like how this house has green, uses palms. I'm not too sure about what it is, if it's even a front or resident or whatever it is, but I like how they did their front. What up? And I like the coconut trees in the back, something that you just don't see very often. But in my opinion, we should see a lot, the one the Caribbean. So up ahead, after these vendors, is actually a hospital or health center.
those bottles that you're seeing on the right, those that's disinfectant and uh, dishwashing liquid, sanitizer and so forth. You see a lot of that being sold on the side of the road now. Those things, when if you buy them within the supermarket, they can be really expensive. So those bottles, when they're selling those bottles, um, can be quite a price reduction. I'm not too sure where they come from. I think they come from Venezuela, 100% or not. Some are produced locally. But when you buy them in that 5 litre bottle, it, it's a huge savings. So this district area here has a lot of stuff here that's government related. And some of those buildings of course they are just that part of it. And I didn't go up to the health center slash hospital to record it for obvious reasons. This is not something I would do. And that's the price of that guy selling melon across the road. $2.99 TT dollars, which would be about 40 cents US. A pound, that is. The average size of one of those melons could be anywhere from like 10 pounds to 15 pounds. So that would give you an idea of the price. So if it's a small melon, you're talking about $4.50 US, $5 US, a small melon. And there's that house again, it's stately, but in need of renovation. Now, look at this here. It, you see that bush? It almost looks artificial, doesn't it? But looking closer, you can see that it's actually some sort of weed with flowers. I thought it was interesting. So tell me, how did you enjoy this walk? I know it was long, I know some of you couldn't handle it, but if you enjoyed it, please do become a patron. You can go to JB's Man Cave and there is a donation link where I'm talking about jbmancave.com that's my actual site um, there's a donation button there you can feel free to give whatever donation you like make sure to subscribe, like and thanks for watching really appreciate it